So hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to a new FIFA 21 video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to play the 4-2-3-1 small formation. I'm going to show you the tactics and the instructions and this is how I like to play this formation. Uh, yeah, Maybe you could try it out yourself. Let me know in the comments what you think of it and if you tried it out what your results are. I'm really curious about that of course. Uh, I'm showing you this with the... Uh, team from Paris Saint-Germain because I think they have the best players uh, in online seasons to play this formation and I'm gonna explain you why but you can also play it with other teams of course you can use it in Korea you can use it in ultimate team if you have similar players like this so yeah try it out yourself uh, but first of all I want to thank you very much for watching of course please drop a like under the video if you think this video is useful for you uh, you can also subscribe to my channel, it's free to do of course, I'm doing lots of tactic videos, tutorial videos, also gameplay videos, so for everybody, uh, yeah, something to see I think, so hit that subscribe button. Uh, well, we're playing with Paris Saint-Germain, the formation I already said, 4-2-3, one narrow formation. Uh, Navas is the goalkeeper, that doesn't matter that much for the tactic of course. Um, we are playing with Florenzi. Uh, Marquinhos, Kimbembe and Bernat on the defense. Um, what I like uh, yeah, in the 4-2-3-1 narrow formation is to play with two uh, attacking midfielders on the left and on the right side who are more playing like wingers than attacking midfielders. Um, yeah, what you can do, it's a bit uh, yeah, what you like yourself. Uh, you can use the fullbacks to go forward or just to stay back. If you are insecure at defense and yeah, weak on the counter attack, uh, you must know that from your own play style, of course, then I would recommend to use the fullbacks to stay back while attacking in the instruction. I want to show you that later. But if you are confident on the ball and like really attacking football, you can use these guys to make some overlap runs because yeah, I like to play with some wingers on these positions, but yeah, they are not real wingers, of course. So there is some space for your fullbacks to come over these guys and yeah, be extra options for you at the attack. But when you are doing that, you must be sure that you have really fast defenders because you are weak at the counter attack. And yeah, most opponents are playing with really, really fast attackers. So you must can catch them up. So yeah, Marquinhos and Kimbembe for online seasons are pretty fast center backs. I don't think an ultimate team these uh, these numbers from uh, 72, 73 are really high, but there are some alternatives of course there. But for online seasons, that would be good. Uh, then we're going to the midfielders. Gouillet is the most defensive one and Verratti is the most attacking one. What I like in this formation from the two central defensive midfielders is that one is really, really defensive, really good at uh, is positioning in the defense, really good at tackling, and Gouillet is that guy. Then we have Verratti. He must uh, not be too attacking, but he must be really good at passing and dribbling. And Verratti is that, of course. He has the medium attacking work rate and the high defensive work rate. So I'm really sure that he's coming back on the defense when I don't have the ball. And I'm really sure that he is not going too much forward because he has the medium attacking work rate. But you can instruct him to go forward yourself in the instructions, of course. And when you have a player that has a high attacking work rate, you can instruct him to balance the attack or even to stay back while attacking. So the he is not going forward too much. Okay, then we are going to the attacking midfielders. Neymar is on the right side. Uh, I like to play with a right-footed player on the right side and a left-footed player like Di Maria on the left side. But if you don't care or if you like uh, to play with a right-footed player on the left side and otherwise, you can switch them, of course. Uh, but he is, yeah, playing like a winger, but he can also play like a cam Neymar maybe the best player in the game at the moment for me. Uh, he is really fast, of course, his shooting, his dribbling, passing is all amazing. Skill moves and weak foot, both five stars. So yeah, he is playing like a winger in the instructions that I'm giving him and the tactics that we are using, but he can do both. Uh, then I'm using a real attacking midfielder, like a classic attacking midfielder on the central position. and. That for me in this uh, situation is Draxler. 
what this guy needs is really good shooting, really good passing and good dribbling, of course. So you can also play with the Brownie maybe or with, uh, yeah, call it whatever, Griezmann would be a really good option there. From Liverpool, I would pick Firmino to play there, but yeah, he doesn't need to be really, really, really fast, but he needs good shooting, good passing, good dribbling. And a weak foot of five star is a really, really good option for this, of course. Draxler has it, so that's a really good option for me on that side. Then on the left side, we have Di Maria. He is not super fast, so yeah, that's a bit of a mint point for me. Um, yeah, but he is really good at shooting, passing and dribbling. And 83 pace is not super slow, but it would be fine if he would be faster. But yeah, that's it. It is what it is. Then we have Mbappe. He is playing like a striker. And what I like in this formation, that the striker is making some runs forward. And yeah, he is super fast with the 96 pace, of course. Shooting is amazing. Dribbling is amazing. So this is a fantastic striker, as we all know but he needs to go forward, making the runs, creating the space for those three guys that are playing all as attacking midfielders. So when he is making the runs, he will uh, take at least one, but most of the times two center backs with him and you create so much space for the three guys to set up your attacks. That's really amazing. Okay, now we're going to the tactics. What you can do is press after possession loss if you have really fast attackers and fast midfielders uh yeah i think that's really recommended when you are playing press after possession loss because when you have slow players and they are going to run after the ball and they are really slow yeah they are never going to catch it of course so you need really fast players really aggressive players then you could do that if you are not having those players you, i would recommend balanced but for me press after possession loss with a width of four bars and a depth of six bars so you are standing a bit further forward than yeah normally when i try out things i would say four depth not too deep because there is a lot of space behind your defense but when you are playing some pressure football you want all your players to go forward a bit so you are having more chance keeping the field compact and try to recover that ball uh, the offensive style uh, you can do two things here you can do balanced and you can do long ball in my opinion balanced is yeah pretty good overall of course and long ball especially for these two guys for Di Maria and for Neymar uh, Neymar has the high attacking work rate so when you have the ball he will go forward anyway and Di Maria also has the high attacking work rate so he will do that also but when you are looking at Draxler he has the medium attacking work rate so yeah, he is not going to run forward in a straight line when you have the ball. Um, what long ball does, you can see it here uh, from the players, they were making some runs forward when you are choosing this one. So your left and your right attacking midfielder are playing more like wingers with this one. And with the balanced one, it can be that they do that, but it can also be that they don't do it and play more like attacking midfielders than like wingers. Um, also, the width is really important when you are playing this too small. Uh, everybody is going to the center of the field and it would be really, really crowded there. So I would recommend it to put it a bit wider to seven or maybe eight bars. And also that with the long ball will make your left and right attacking midfielder making, uh, playing more like wingers than attacking midfielders. Players in the box, I will say five bars for this one corners or free kicks doesn't matter that much um, then we're going to the instructions to Florenzi what I already said when you are confident yourself when you're having the ball and you really like to have extra options in the attack you could say balanced attack with the overlap run type um, if you don't like that you could say stay back while attacking so you're not sure that he will stay back but if you want him to go forward i will say balance attack with the overlap run type and keep in mind that also this long ball or balanced is important for your fullbacks because when you are playing long ball and this is on balanced attack he will go forward uh anytime so he's going to run forward when you have the ball 
And there is nobody on the right side of the defense to play the ball when you are playing it around. Uh, there is nobody there. So keep that in mind that it's always important, the setting, uh, compared to what you are playing for offensive style. So I would say I will recommend if you're not that confident to stay back while attacking. The same for Bernard, stay back while attacking. Set the backs both default. Then we have Gouillet. What we are doing, good passing lanes, stay back while attacking cover center because he is the most defensive one. Uh, then we are going to Verratti. It's a bit uh, what you want here, of course. Good passing lanes is always what I'm doing. But this one, balanced attack. He has the medium attacking work rate. So if you really want him to go forward, I will say get forward. And if you think, well, that's a bit too much, maybe you could say balanced attack. And this one we are uh, putting on cover center. If you're playing with another player, then Verratti uh, that has a high attacking work rate, I always would say balanced attack because get forward would be maybe a bit too much. Uh, that's it for him. Then we're going to Neymar. Only thing I changed for all three attacking midfielders, get into the box for the cross. Because when you are attacking and you are near the box with Di Maria or with Neymar, you want all these players in the box to be available for a pass. Um, that was not good. Going back to the latest player, and that is Mbappe, of course. Mbappe... What I already said, what he needs to do is making those runs behind your opponent's defense. When you can give him a through ball, give it to him, a lofted through ball or just a grounded uh, through ball. When he is through and he received the ball, you have a one-on-one -on -one goalkeeper uh, situation and you can score that. But if there is not an opportunity to pass the ball, he will create so much space with this runs for all other three players here. And yeah, you can use that space, of course, to set up your attacks. So that's it for the 4 2 3 1 narrow formation. I hope you like it. I hope you will try it out. And of course, I hope you will win with this. Don't forget to like this video. I really appreciate it if you would do that. And hopefully, we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.